Hello and welcome to another video. My name is The Shiminator and in this video we're going to be discussing NFTs and the metaverse. If you don't know what that is, fear not, we will be discussing it in this video. Also, I'm going to discuss whether or not NFTs are a good investment choice for you and some of the dangers and potential profits you can make from NFTs. The easiest way to explain an NFT is to imagine the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is a painting that is very unique. Everything about it from the paint texture to the canvas can be traced and proven scientifically to be completely unique and original. Even though you could probably fake the Mona Lisa, you wouldn't be able to fake it perfectly because you could actually use chemical analysis and other methods to actually find out if it's really the genuine one. NFTs are similar. Imagine a JPEG or a picture online that you find. Now imagine that this picture has a unique identifying code behind it and that code can only be made a certain amount of times and put onto the blockchain. Simply put, once you have a picture that is an NFT, that NFT is completely unique to you. You cannot replicate it. And if you do, it's obvious to someone who knows what they're talking about that your picture is not the picture that is genuine. Now, currently NFTs are not usually on the blockchain itself, which is a bit of a problem, which we'll talk about later. But technically speaking, an NFT is completely unique. It's just like the Mona Lisa. You can't really copy or fake it. And those who own a piece of that artwork, that digital artwork, own a unique piece of art. Okay, here comes the really interesting part. This is a twist. Social media companies are trying to become something called metaverse companies instead. Essentially, instead of being on your phone and going to watch a video or playing a game, you'd be immersed in a VR world where you'd be able to do pretty much anything you want. You could ride on a dinosaur, you could travel to space, do pretty much anything you could imagine. The reason that this is cool is that everything in the metaverse would be technically tradable. So you can make a rock, you can sell furniture, you can buy stuff, you can buy spaceships and tools and items, and all of these things are digital assets. And because of that, NFTs would gain an enormous prominence in these worlds once they become real. What this means is that because right now Facebook is spending an enormous amount of money on VR technology and on these immersive metaverse ideas, this means that NFTs have a massive potential for growth once these companies start coming out with these metaverse ideas. If you want to know more about this metaverse, please let me know in the comments and I'll make more videos about that because it requires its own video in order to really explain it fully. Another reason NFTs are awesome is that it gives artists an actual advantage and a way to really make money. For example, digital artists actually have a very hard time making a living if they don't work for a large corporation or for someone who can pay them really well. In general, selling your own digital art can really be very difficult to do and it's not really rare, so it's very difficult to make profit. However, with NFTs, you can actually sell that artwork, you can not only make money because it's rare, but you can actually hype it up enough to really make a living. So is it a good idea to buy NFTs and how do you make the most amount of money from it? The answer to this is to look at regular investing. Just because something is a really good investment doesn't necessarily mean it's the best investment for you. Everyone's a little different, so you gotta decide that first. And I think the answer lies in looking at physical art. Physical art is usually bought and sold through millions of dollars and it can be worth a lot of money and appreciate really well. But who usually buys these pieces of artwork? People who already have a lot of money. Also people who usually appreciate the artwork over time. So the best idea, I think, in order to really invest properly in NFTs is that you first need to actually be someone who's interested in the art. If you love art and you collect physical art as well as NFTs, I think it might actually be a really good idea for you to maybe invest some into NFTs. I don't necessarily recommend it and I'm not a financial advisor, but if you do love the artwork and you actually invest properly and you invest in something you enjoy, even if you end up not being able to sell it at a later date, you at least have art that you enjoy. So I think the types of people who really should be looking into NFTs are the types of people who actually enjoy art and really love the forms and want to own a digital digital copy of something that they find beautiful. There is another really important thing to look out for if you're into NFTs, and this is utility. Let's say, for example, that a band that you like gives out NFTs of their album. And instead of just giving you a picture that's digitalized, they say that if you own this NFT, if you bought this NFT, you can get backstage passes every time they have a concert. Or, for example, instead of backstage passes, you get access to the front row seats or you get two concerts free. Once they start adding utility, it'll be easier to tell whether an NFT is worth getting. And also the utility will add a little more stability to the prices. Let's add a 
little bit of spice, a little bit of danger to this equation and discuss some of the risk. There is some risk attached to NFTs and this is something you have to know about if you're into NFTs. The first thing is that unfortunately, the pictures are actually not on the blockchain themselves because they take up too much space. So only the code itself is on the blockchain. The image is usually on a domain or on a centralized area, like for example, on a centralized server. The problem with this is that if that server goes down, your image is gone forever. So it's really not permanent and that's a big risk. So that's something you have to be aware of. The second risk is that if there's a crypto crash, NFTs are usually hit the hardest. And the reason for this is that people want the underlying asset or they want to sell off as quickly as possible so they don't lose money. The problem with this is that if you actually start to sell, and if you've ever seen a market crash happen, you won't be able to sell on time and you'll usually lose the money. It's almost impossible to sell at the very top and you'll usually sell close to the bottom. Going to invest in NFTs, there are two rules you have to follow. The first is never let the romance and the hype sweep you away. Do not get so hyped up that you lose your money over a picture. The hype always dies down, but will your wallet die down? That's something you don't want. Secondly, if you're going to invest in NFTs, make sure you enjoy the art. If you find beauty, if you love it, if it's something that really speaks to you, that's fine. There's no problem in investing in NFTs. And I do think that with the metaverse, for example, it's going to be the future. There's no question about it. But make sure that if you're going to use your hard earned money to invest in NFTs, it's something that you actually find real value in, not because you think someone else will pay more than you paid for it. Some people think we're already in a metaverse, in a simulation. Elon Musk thinks so. Where am I?